What's going on guys? Today I will be doing a 50 hour maintenance. My tractor has reached 51 hours. It's crazy. It's already at 51 hours, but I will be doing a complete hydraulic and filter change. <laughs> Okay, today's video is sponsored by, you guessed it, my broke ass again. <laughs> All right. So, here we go. Doing a 50-hour maintenance. Draining my hydraulic fluid, doing a filter change. Um, it's what the book calls a 50 hours. I, my opinion, I don't agree with it because the oil was very clean. Uh, there wasn't any particles in it. Um, I didn't see anything. It was just clean. Very clean, translucent, um, but the book calls for it, so whatever. Uh, the next one is at 150 hours. So I don't know how they get go from 50 hours to 150. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a dealer gimmick, maybe, so they can make money. Hell, I don't know. Anyway, I done it. First problem I ran into, this is the original filter, as you could see. I had a hard time getting it off. Bent an oil wrench here, as you could see the damage up top. Went with the eye bolts, they ripped out, no luck there. Last resort was a screwdriver through the body. Um, reason it's my last resort, because in the past I had filters just rip open and then uh, actually I had to open it up and actually tap with a screwdriver uh, this housing right here and unscrew and that was just a pain in the ass Anyway, it was off come to find out in the factory. This seal was not primed and the reason I know that because there was Small pieces of it on the actual side of my uh, crankcase there The original number for that you will not find it on this filter. Don't know why Don't care Original number is P169078. That is the original part number for a TYM filter that's made by Dickerson or Dixon. I don't know. Somebody. Anyway, I couldn't get it. So, in my opinion, the Napa Gold is pretty damn good. So, I went with the Napa. Again, opinions are like assholes. You guys put whatever you want on your tractor. I don't care. I went with the Napa. Napa part number 1586. Okay. So I'll show you what I've done so far. <clears throat> Filter is located. This is the driver's door. Here's the step. There's your filter location. Very easy to get to. And very easy to unscrew when it's properly tightened and a seal is lubed up before put on the side of the crankcase there. So that should not be a problem in the future at all. You don't need a goddamn gorilla tightening fucking uh, filters. I don't know what the hell they're thinking. And prime your shit. Okay, so that's the filter I just pointed out. And if you go under here, there's your drain plug right there. That's where you're going to be draining everything from. Right there. And I don't know if I mentioned the capacity of the tractor. The actual fluid capacity that the manual says is 9.6 gallons, which is a shitload. Um, so yeah, get ready to spend a little bit of money on some fluid. Back here, took me a little while to figure out where the actual window is. Um... The manual doesn't give you a good this location of the actual window. I thought right here, this is your fill cap here. And I thought maybe they installed the wrong cap. The window was supposed to be here. Or I looked on a side here. It wasn't on a side. The actual window is located right here. Here's your casing. PTO. And there's the little window. And as you can see, I already got fluid in there. I'm probably about a gallon short. I need to get it up to that red dot. But that's the window location right there because I looked everywhere for it. Looked on forms uh, in the manual. It doesn't show you a picture uh, where the location is. Because um, I think the manual that they give you is just a generic manual. And 
you know, they change stuff all the time, but that's where the window location is. So what I'm going to do is uh, pull my plug here, throw a funnel in, and I'm going to watch the little window, you know, to get it up to the red mark, and I'll continue the video. All right, so I'm done. I was right a little bit, a um, little bit over a gallon it took. I'm on the upper part of that red uh, red dot there. That's where you want to be. Um, another quick tip, uh, if you have the three... Uh, 394T uh, make sure you have a long neck funnel um, that's the one I used and it was not long enough um, you can use a funnel that size but you're gonna have to put a tube on it so uh, you know you get a good drain in there because of the gas tank it, it is kind of in a way so need a long neck funnel reinstall my cap here and that's it. Basically, that is it. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe.